What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and today I'm gonna teach you how to build a US drone soccer ball. This is the iFlight 20 centimeter drone soccer ball foundation kit. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is grab the carbon fiber frame right here. And you'll see that both sides are identical. So you're just gonna pick one side and that is going to be the top. The other side is going to be the bottom. And what you're then going to do is take the four bumpers, the screws that are associated with them and the bolts, and you are going to put all four bumpers on. So you can pause the video right now if you want, but you're going to put the screws through the top of the bumper, put the nut on the bottom, and we'll see you at the next step. Now that we have the bumpers on, our next step is going to be to take this front cover. You'll see here that I have an arrow pointing up. That's so I know where the front direction is going to be. And I'm going to take this board. You'll see the board has already these little rubber bumpers in. We are going to put the screw in and then take another donut rubber. You'll see that in the instruction manual. You put the rubber donut on the side that has the little jut sticking out, that's the bottom right there. I forget what that's called. It's like a little uh, resistor or whatnot. You're going to put the one bumper on that bottom of the screw. And then once you get all four on, then you're going to put it on that side right there and just screw it into that bottom plate. That's why we have that plate right there so that when you take the screw, it'll go right into there and hold everything in place. So right now do that with yours. You're gonna see all four holes right there. You got the front facing there and you have the back with the charging cord on the other side. And now it's time to screw them in. Next step is to add the propellers. You are going to put the propeller with the pin side up and you're gonna have the screws here going in from the bottom into the propeller on the top side. Once you have those, you're going to want to also make sure that the cord from the propeller is going into the middle. So you wanna make sure that all four propellers have the cords going into that middle spot so it's easier to plug into that main control board. For your next step, you're gonna take each one of those propeller cords and plug them into the board as you see here. There's the four cords, they all go in there and the wire kind of just follows along the arm of the propeller. Once you have all of those plugged in, you're now going to plug in the receiver to that bottom board. You're just gonna find that little slot, push it in, it should go in nice and easy and we're gonna worry about attaching that to the arm later. Next up is going to be the LED light board. So you're gonna take the light board and you're gonna take the screws. You're going to actually put the screws through and take these little extenders, these black extender tubes, and you're going to put the black extender tubes on the bottom with the screw pushing in on the top. Once you get all four of those screws and the black tubes up, then you put the LED board connected to the bottom extender tubes, screw those in, and you'll be good to go. Now we're going to take that receiver and we're gonna secure it to the wing that it's closest to. We're just gonna take the zip tie right here and we're going to make sure it's connected nice and tight. You might have a different receiver depending on what controller you have. We have this one that has just the one little um, metal antenna and because it's on the bottom and it's not very long, it doesn't connect with the propellers. The other one that has, we're using the Orca controller. The other receiver has two longer ones so you might have to just tuck the antenna around so it doesn't get hit by the propeller. But you have here the different cords as well, the cords that are the propeller connecting to the main board. So we're just tying them down and clipping off the ends so that it doesn't interfere with the propellers. Thank you. 
Speaking of propellers, we are now going to add the propellers to the drone. Now you definitely want to double check your instruction manual to see which propeller goes on which motor. They are specific. You have the front of the drone marked with that arrow you, you see here. Now the front left and the back right propellers will be matching going the same direction and the top right and the back left will be opposite of the other two but they will be matching and you have to make sure that the holes line up for the screws with the motors so right we have that flashlight to kind of make sure that the holes line up if they don't you've got to hold the propeller with one hand the motor with the other hand and just spin it so that you can see the holes line up with the screws once you get that you just screw them in and you have your propellers added your drone is almost complete now we're just going to build the outer shell and you see here we built the top and all you're going to do is take the four top corners and use the zip ties to clip them together you'll see a groove right here on the plastic that is meant for the zip ties to go into you pull them tight and then you're going to clip off the excess and the bumpers actually have a groove for them to go in as well so once you build the top you build the bottom you then put the drone bumpers into the grooves you put the top on and now you're just going to zip tie the top to the bottom and you'll be good to go and that wraps it up hopefully you now know how to build the u.s drone soccer ball but if you have any questions leave them down in the comments box below most importantly don't forget to work hard play hard and i'll catch you next time